And we're back, everyone, to Minecraft Story Mode, Episode 8, and more. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, comments. to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The walls. the walls! Oh god, the walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You could tell me if you were scared. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please, this walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. Yeah. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? You can murder people. The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh, gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Tick dog! Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do you mean? At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Others get you nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's true, it's true! Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Well, duh, we knew that was gravel. Nope, just dirt. Come on! Well, we got stats of it. Wait, how am I going to fit this course dirt yep, in my inventory? just dirt. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm going to need something to work with. Oh, I guess we could actually do have more than sense slots. Oh no, wait, I lost my sword, that's why. Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. <laughs> oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! This should be interesting. There. The competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Uh, I have Jesse. Get this, this could on. get ugly. Let's hope. You seem pretty sure you're about to kill me. Are you with us or not? Oh, ye of little faith. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it 
figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not... Thank you, you made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's... Could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh... Confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them. They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many <laughs> perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! When what they should be doing... You are not going to bully us. Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh... Our slab seems to be the smart. I'm sure that the slaughter will commit soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You're all such strong, amazing fighters. You could fight the old builders. Defeat them. No way. I am very strong, but not strong enough for that. <laughs> yep, that is some straight crazy talk. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. But you, when I was mean to you, pushed you around and made you go to the tower with me, you got that I was just I doing my job Spock. and came anyway so we sure, could be I know on that time. One guy, I was real considerate. Did I just put that sword in my face? I will fight the old builders by your side. I think it's time for us to finish this together. But yeah. It appears all it the defenders are guy, headed towards say. the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right well, behind you, fearless leader. There we go. A two slab. You'll pay for that. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no. And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners! <laughs> which, I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them? No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. <laughs> so help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other! Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily. I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Maybe, yeah. Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am How proud to pay Otto. Yeah. Maybe, what are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart. Now, now. Because, uh, I will trap you here. Forever. If you want it, come and get it. Your English Wait. is my command, buckaroo. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, this is useless. Well, well. Just when you thought... Oh, are you with us or not, Em? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. 
She's always been a touchy one. Seriously? I'm still with you, Jesse. Thank you. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. Well, they are built here, so. Uh, I'll admit your quick sport. <laughs> Hat Not shield, quick are we? For my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? No! Slab! It was an honor to fight for time. Slab! You'll pay for that. Gotta no. admit, kid. Hey. You've shown you got skill. For that. But you're still no messy we'll about that. I got this, Hadrian. Ah! Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right. This has gone too far. It was just supposed to be a game. You expect me to believe that? Come on, I'm sport. letting my guard. Haven't down. you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game. Is no! no! Um, and that's our game, sports fans! I the Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I, I lost. Hey, fancy meeting you here. They didn't give me an option you know, to do anything, though. I've sent hundreds of competitors to these respawn pits. Never knew it hurt so much. Sorry. That's probably not helping your mood right now. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so. It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks! Wow. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to uh, you now. Do you have a diamond hoe? Because, yeah, that was, that was fun. Time to kick some old builder butt. Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Uh, diamond hoe. No, not diamond hoe. Seriously, I can't have a diamond hoe. Eh, you want? Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Sweet. So it's always a classic. Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? You don't know my friends, Hadrian. Those friends of yours will just hold you back in the end, slugger. Oh, I'm going to enjoy crushing time. Round two. Yeah. This time, we actually have decent odds. Scrub. <laughs> ah, whoa, whoa. I wasn't wow, even pressing you, though. Mavia, come on! What kind of rookie move was that? Yeah, 
Now let's duo on top of this. Can I switch to a pickaxe? And just smack one out of the for now, like sleep. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! us. Go, Jesse! I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Where's my Let's take him to the slab lab. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still <laughs> workshopping that one. Shut up. Let's go. Come on! You never could have won on your own. Wish you had friends like mine yet? Shut up. Just shut up. Alia, shut up. I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse, remember Splee. Got it. Yeah, I <laughs> Some blocks underneath you. Nope. I knew it. You and your stupid deal. There's no time for that now, Mevia. We have to get out of here. Come on. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> It's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Facemeat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, oh, <laughs> hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. <laughs> you have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide well, their fate, I lost. and with the Atlas, you can send cheated. them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? <laughs> Which would you ever fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, yep. Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. Yeah, I'm happy to help the protagonist. Well, I'm you. very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. And I'm gonna help too. You taught me a lot about fairness, Jesse. And I'd like to use that new knowledge for something good. Oh, Came about that one guy. And speaking of fairness, I think this is yours. Oh, man. Yay. There I was some good hit. stuff in there. Burke bad. I was really moved. Awesome. I feel happy about that. I feel a bit oh, bad that I didn't. I guess he wasn't so guy, immovable but, yeah. after all. Shrug. Well, M, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends, but what if I'm bored? Yep, you it sounds like Otto's gonna be, you know, like restarting the games. You could stick around and help with that. Jesse, that's an awesome idea! We can actually make them fun. M maybe I can be head gladiator. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Oh, I decided to fade. That's all. 
Oh, hey, you Ivor. Have Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself over there. <laughs> she seems lonely. There be now. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You <laughs> are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. <laughs> You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Well, might as well. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. That simple, man. Eh? Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. Hmm. That one, eh? There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Wait, did we bring that one with uh, us? I'm not sure if we did. At least we made it back. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Or yes, it does feel home? pretty good, doesn't it? I know, I can't believe it either. After all that traveling we were doing, I was starting to wonder if we'd ever get home. Ah. <sighs> It is good to be back. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. I can, oh yeah, I can add new stuff to the stuff. Oh yeah, I kept, uh... The crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! Yeah, I did keep this stuff, didn't I? The White Pumpkin. The Mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man! That's even creepier looking than I imagined! Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. Back. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Ah, I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, Sorry. isn't that one more to put up? The enchanted flint and go. steel. The one that started the whole thing. Is that? Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. So, there we go. More shinies for the shiny I collection. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. 
Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Um, Jesse? What's up, Lucas? So, I've been writing stuff in here, you know? And, well, it's kind of become like a legitimate book. But there's just one problem. I still need to put what happened to you. You've, well, you've been the hero of this whole story. It wouldn't be right to end it without saying what happened to the hero. Just yeah. say, and he couldn't have done it without his friends. That's pretty much what you happened, know something? though. I really like that. There. Done. Well, tell the next one, anyway. I was thinking that maybe we could put it in here with the other treasures. I know sure. it's not as cool as, like, a portal atlas. That's a great idea, Lucas. It's perfect. Well, our adventures have been Hang on. monologued. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was uh, definitely where you put it. Ivor. Guys, flint and steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Uh, is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Meh, that's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us. If he wants to dive right back into the portal network, well, I think he's earned it by this point. <laughs> so you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Come on, him. guys. Let's go home. <laughs> let him go have adventure. Sure, why not? So now then, who did you rescue during its fle its dream sleep? Did you make a deal with him or not in Lava Race? How did you finish the Lava Race? Most people are rescued now. How did you deal with Hadrian? Mm, we tested it. Who did Emko in the end? Uh, so here's the thing. Majority of people rescue Petra. Majority of people agreed to work with him. Majority of people are rescued now. Mm, most people rejected Hadrian's new deal. And probably the majority of people actually chose to have him probably join the group or something like that. I doubt most of them told her, eh, you should go back home. But maybe they did. But, yeah, I can, I can work with that. So, I still miss that one thing. Oh, so, credits. And we can actually watch the credits this time, because it's actually done. So, yeah, decade thanks to Telltale Games and Mojang for, well, making Minecraft. I was there was fun. I'm not exactly a fan of episodic releases from Telltale, but you know. That's why I usually wait till most of their stuff is fully released before I. L well, I just started less playing their stuff. Because, well, most of their stuff's already fully out, so it's easy for me to actually do. Now then, the cast. Yeah, Brian Prussian. Yep, Jim Cummings. Is there anyone else I recognize, though? Mm, that's out there. But yeah. Check in, sir. Well, in a very unfortunate and unexpected twist, it appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of salt. <laughs> 
That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. <laughs> wings. You, you, chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> and I think we should actually refer out the choices we've gone over in this. So, in the first episode, you and 32.6% of players told Ruben to run from the monsters. You and 36.7% of players went back to save Lucas from the Iron Gold. I think more people would have done that. Let's Stats have changed. Hmm. You and Forty Seven help Petra. I thought more people would have helped her. Yeah, I let Lucas leave the shelter because Lucas wanted to leave the shelter. And apparently, most people don't know how to reflect gas fireballs back. You and Forty Point Four Prayer went by the Destroyer. <laughs> Let's see how. You and 35.9% of players chose to go after the amulet in the grinder. You and 63.4% Lucas through the end because Lucas knows what he's doing. You and... But I didn't high five... I thought I high five Ruben. You and 54.9% of players let Lucas save his friends. Because, well, obviously reasons. We snuck into the witch's hut because, well, duh, there's cake. And, of course, my favorite option this entire game. You and 5.9% players crafted a diamond hull. Best choice I made. Of course, we chose new armor. You and 52.1% players allowed Gabriel to tell the order about the truth. Tell the truth about the order. But yeah, that one. Somehow that armor wasn't as good as it should have been. In my opinion, you and 65.6% players let Ivor's house stand. Because why not? You and 51.8% players tried to stop Ivor's arrest. You and 21.7% players helped Lucas confront Aiden. And you and 63.1% players made Issa and Milo show power. So, you and 82% of players showed the flint steel to sparkles, because why not? You and 61.3% of players refused to accuse anyone. You and 71.2% players went after the white pumpkin instead of helping your friends, I would guess. You and 75% convinced the others about Cassie Rose. And yeah, we left her for Cat Winslow. That was probably a good thing. You and A says point two percent players made nice with Petra. You and forty nine point four told power the truth. You and sixty nine point nine percent players unship Petra. You and forty seven point show well that one was an if one. You and seventy four point seven defended Harper because well Harper's not bad. And then yeah, our choices. So yeah, anyway, episode 7, Ancestor Denied Sale, episode 8, silly, silly thing. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day. Till next time. When we get back to either Matt's Pain or maybe even The Walking Dead, who knows.